Hey guys, Aaron Teal here with Intune Marine, and welcome to the Advantage Series. We're a multi-line dealer, crazy about fishing. We carry Vexus, Phoenix, Camus, and Triton boats. And we're gonna take a real close look at these boats today. Let's get started. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Advantage Series. We're talking about the ABX 1980 from Vexus Boats today. This is a fiberglass infused aluminum hybrid. No, this is not a Toyota Prius. I'm talking about this is a stallion of a fishing boat, truly something that's a level up in quality. And we're gonna show you here all the advantages of this boat inside and out, starting with the hull. Innovation. That's probably one really good way to describe the hull of this boat. Now, Vexus is doing, what I mean by that is Vexus is doing something that's truly unique in the aluminum segment. Specifically, they've got these built-in steps incorporated throughout the boat, just like a fiberglass boat would. And what that does to this boat is it truly allows it to turn like nothing you've seen before. So the handling is like absolutely fiberglass like compared to most aluminum boats, which you typically get a ton of slide with. And this hull at 55 miles an hour grabs and does exactly what you tell it to do. So that makes it a very safe boat to run and uh, very nimble, which if you're fishing rivers, if you're fishing lakes, that is you know, that can get you out of the bind, that can do a lot of good things. Another thing is a pad bottom. So most aluminum boats have, you know, more of a flat bottom and ultimately you just don't get the same performance as with a fiberglass boat, which has a pad bottom. They've incorporated a pad bottom into this boat, which truly allows the boat to be efficient and lift and allows it to ride with that chisel. So two parts, this boat's gonna lift better due to that. And it's also gonna ride better due to it being on that V. So it's able to break those waves away. And uh, you truly have to feel it to, to believe it. But another thing, they're incorporating setback into this hull. So that also helps that boat lift, helps that boat perform, helps that motor really get good water pressure uh, at those higher speeds. Uh, couple that with these little hooks right here. Uh, you can take your hands off the wheel and this boat absolutely stays stable the whole time you're driving it. Not to mention they've incorporated a very beefy transom in this boat. They've got five quarter inch braces to support jack plates, shallow water anchors, and all the accessories we like to put on these boats. I mean, so many advantages right here in this hull. Walking towards the front, you're gonna find stretch form gunnels. So what does that mean? You're not gonna have that stitching or those welds sticking out like you do on aluminum boats. So, you know, we've had a lot of people say, wow, oh, geez, that's made of aluminum. And I think a big part of that is just these stretch form gunnels, very clean uh, there. Along with that, they've got hard case paint. So that's an automotive paint. That's not gonna be porous like gel coat. It's not gonna absorb things. Easy to keep clean, very rigid. Awesome stuff here on the exterior. They've got some awesome color combinations. And then let's take a look at the bow. Another huge advantage to the AVX series of boats in this 1980 here is the bow. So what you'll notice with this boat is when it sits in the water, it does sit in a little bit of a nose up position which really is a huge advantage if that wind does pick up and you need to carry that bow, it's very hard to spear a wave in this boat. It really stays on top of those waves nicely and you're really able to control that bow and keep it from going through a wave, you know, due to that. Along with that, uh, I just wanna mention the whole shot on this boat is insane and the acceleration overall is insane. This is not the fastest boat on the top end, but we've got 10,000 reasons not to go 80 miles an hour up in Minnesota here. So it really provides you a spacious platform and uh, plenty of fun whole shot and acceleration. And it is one of the most fun boats to drive that we carry. 
But uh, without further ado, do you, do you guys want to hop in this boat? Let's do it. So the AVX 1980 hopping inside, you're going to notice it's spacious. So here at the front deck, you've got plenty of room for two guys to fish off of it. You've got a wide platform here and they infuse fiberglass up here into this bow panel. So this would be a fiberglass recessed tray for your trolling motor foot pedal. They can install an Ultrex on this boat. This one's actually for sale and comes with an Ultrex. They've been hot cakes. So uh, the Ultrex just came for this boat, but you can get it with a Ghost or a Garmin Force as well. They recess the navigation lights right in the bow here so you don't have to grab that if it gets dark out. Uh, at the bow panel here, you're gonna notice, Texas, they don't, they're not putting cheap things here. These are aluminum panels on this fiberglass recess tray. You can flush mount up to a 10 inch unit up here. Control your trim, your lights. And they also offer a dual stacker plate. So for you forward looking sonar guys, uh, you're able to do that here. And this is a very nimble, agile boat. You're able to control this bow here and really get around docks and maneuver really nice that bow isn't isn't too blunt where you can't make a roll cast kind of any which way you want so you'll find that you know getting your bait where you need to with this boat the boat isn't in your way a ton and uh the back end sits a little bit lower so that it doesn't blow around a ton either so as long as you're on your bow mount this boat actually sits very good in the water and is very stable they've incorporated rod buckles into the deck here. <laughs> they put them out far enough because uh, they know you like your fishing poles. And on both sides. So you're able to strap those rods down, have plenty of room to fish. And a very long, lengthy deck here. You're gonna notice this is quality stuff, plenty of room. Let's uh, take a look at these lids and a little bit of the finer details here. So along with a nimble platform and a ton of space, what you're gonna find underneath this beautiful deck here is a industry leading storage. You can do a ton in here and it's very dry. I haven't seen this in an aluminum boat before. This is uh, something they incorporate into their storage lockers now. They actually put these lips and channels in between the lockers along with these rubber seals. So. These lids here, these are made of aluminum with good bracing and they paint these lids, which you know ultimately is a really good finishing touch. You've got a lot of boats out there with just bare shiny aluminum and that looks really nice. And uh, couple that with these channels, striker plate right here to keep that seal good, heavy duty rubber seals. And you've got absolutely dry storage and you've got a lot of it. So very versatile how you can kind of put your things in these boats so we all like to use our boats a little bit different you know i'm personally i'm gonna put my rods over here put my tackle in here kind of guy but i've got i know a lot of people who will put tackle and rods in here and i know a lot of people will put rods in here tackle over here so vexus is incorporated very deep storage in these and very long so you can put up to an eight foot rod in either of these boxes and uh, you can stack a ton of tackle. I'm talking 6,000 Bagley crankbaits. I'm talking 80 packs of Senkos times 100. I'm talking anything you wanna fit in this boat, you're really able to fit in this boat. So this is gonna have the storage of a 21 foot glass boat and it's got just a lot of it. But uh, another thing, I'm gonna put a ruler here in case you need to measure, measure one and these compression latches. This is a big, big part of these lids. It really presses that seal down. So a couple of these channels here. So you've got uh, the Hoover Dam between these along with this rubber thing and this latch. And all that money you spent investing in that tackle and that good equipment, they kept it in mind to protect it even in a aluminum boat. So awesome stuff there coming over here. You've got another dry box, same thing. You've got those channels, compression latch, and a finished out box here. So that's good for life jackets, tackle, um, 
probably put my swim baits over here or something. And then right here they've got a fiberglass cooler. So uh, you could probably use it as a day box, but I'm guessing you're gonna need to hydrate it if you're catching them anyway. Uh, absolutely watertight, this is insulated, so it's designed to hold ice for a long time. They put a striker plate on it, so it's gonna really keep that cooler cool. And then in an easy to access spot. So I'll grab a water most of the time when I'm retying. I'm gonna retie right here. I'm gonna grab me a water. Cockpit, let's look at the cockpit. We spend a lot of time in all areas of the boat. In the cockpit, we spend a lot of time here doing a lot of different things. Uh, a lot of times we'll re-rig a rod right here. And they've incorporated uh, this step-up box right here with the seal on it and the channel with tool holders. So you're able to grab a pliers or a scissors to retie that jig on. Uh, you're able to keep your scale, um, your cult eggs, uh, lure die, scent, uh, your flat worms. Your... Fits right here. It's a perfect little day box area. And uh, if you need an extra hat, that'll fit in there and tool holders that I don't really trip on these. It's a really nice step up area. So you're not, you know, really stepping up to that front deck. And it's a very spacious cockpit. So you've got a nice passenger rod ramp here for a co-angler. You know, if you fish high school tournaments, this is a, a really, has been a popular boat because you're not running 80 miles an hour in those tournaments, but you do need the space for three people, a coach and two, and two guys. So with that, You've got a uh, seat slide here, so you can get adjustable seats. And then they offer that third seat option with a step. You know, if you're a high school fishing coach, this is a good option. And then they also offer a center glove box with cup holders. So you can kind of customize this boat either way. The floor, you can now order this cockpit with sea deck. You can order the whole boat with sea deck if you want. And, uh, Walking over here, another thing to note, you've got plenty of leg room. You've got a grab handle right here. So this boat feels extremely safe riding in it. Let's check out. Uh... Now Vexus, they pride themselves on building these boats in-house. That means the parts, that means these fiberglass consoles, which are absolutely beautiful here. You can order this boat with a single or passenger console. And one thing you'll notice about this console is the gauges. You've got really good sight lines on these gauges, especially if you're using a dual unit shroud. Uh, a lot of times that'll cover up the gauges on a boat. They really thought of you know, not doing that with this. So even if you run two units on this console, you're able to see these gauges and they can flush mount up to a 12 inch screen. We can custom mount something for you, kind of however you want to do things here, you can do it. The other thing is there's no cheapness or plastic on this console. Uh, even the trim is, is very rigid, beefy stuff designed to last. All this stuff transfers to resale at the end of the day. And when you're driving this boat, you'll notice there's no vibration. You know, you've got a lot of aluminum here and a lot of those aluminum boats, you'll really feel that vibration in the console. This thing absolutely feels like a fiberglass boat when you drive it. So I can blindfold you in two footers and it is really hard to tell the difference. And I think a lot of that's attributed to everything we talked about, but this beefy fiberglass console certainly doesn't hurt. Um, couple that with an Italian steering wheel. You've got jack plate options. So this boat uh, has a, hy a hydraulic jack plate on it. So it's got dual lever trim. Uh, you can add a hot foot to this boat, like driving your vehicle, um, safety feature. And then there's switches in their dash panel here. They're using very reliable wiring. So for these big units we're powering and all this stuff, you want good heavy wiring. Um, and they're, they're not skimping out there like you're gonna see on others. So along with that, they've got toggle switches, with very reliable with individual fuses and breakers. So um, very reliable stuff there, easy to access. And then USB port so you can charge your phone if it's dying. Plenty of space here, quality stuff, built to last. Let's check out the back.
All right, so we've just discussed that this isn't your average aluminum pop can. This is uh, more like a tank. So speaking of tanks, the fuel tank on this boat is gonna be right below the seat. Coming to the back here, they've incorporated a fiberglass live well. They build all these parts in-house with uh, closed mold technology. Truly innovative stuff, keeps the environment clean for their factory workers. Very large live well here. You've got a divider, so if you're keeping long ones, or if they're, if they're that big, you can take that out. Or uh, if you've got two people in the boat, you can you know, tell who's who's. Uh, and then they've got a splash guard on this. So when those fish are kicking around, it's not splashing up. And that's pretty nice there. A nice nozzle here with a pump out. And then you can also add an oxygenator, an, uh, oxygenator to these live wells. Uh, very reliable, keep your fish alive and healthy. Awesome stuff. These things are huge and dry. So this is, we've had a ton of good comments from, from customers saying, you know, they've come from 20 foot fiberglass boats and really just blown away that there's more storage in this boat than that fiberglass boat they came from. Well, they're not joking. These boxes specifically in the rear here, these are built out of fiberglass in-house, uh, just like that live well. And these things are huge. So all your boxes, if your buddy brings way too much stuff, you're not gonna be mad. He's got plenty of room for it. So these are insulated too. So if you really need a cooler, you can also double this as a cooler. Another aspect to these boxes, so they're putting that channel in. So they're dry, very dry boxes and they've incorporated a striker plate in here. So this gel coat, obviously it costs money, right? You wanna protect it. So they've incorporated that along with the spot to keep that latch from digging into that box. What happens over time is it'll dig in and this box will be you know, less watertight or less dry. And uh, you know, when you're using your stuff like we do, when these boats cost what they do. You want all those little things incorporated into the boat because it transfers to a longer lasting product and better resale. This part's cool. Let's check it out. One of the less talked about areas on a boat, and I think Vexus absolutely nailed it with this, is this rear box here where you store your batteries, your power pole pumps, your charger, if you have enough room for it. In this boat, you absolutely do. Uh, so what you're going to notice in this rear storage area is a ton of room. They've left spots for your power pole pumps. You've got room for up to a 36 volt trolling motor system along with an AGM cranking battery, lithiums, whatever, whatever you like to run. It's very clean in here as well. It's not a rat's nest, a rat's nest of stuff. Uh, they've got cutoff switches for your battery, a nice spot for your plugs so you're not digging around looking for that to plug your boat in at the end of the day. A convenient location so you can see your charger and your charger status. Very balanced battery system as far as weight goes. And uh, the transom is beefy and you can see that by looking in this battery box. You've got five quarter inch braces, kind of like I told you earlier, but one of the aspects is the direction this box opens. So, you know, a lot of times, if you have a battery issue or you need to jump a battery because you were looking at your live scope too long, <laughs> you can get to this because it opens, you know, this way. So you can, you know, jump that from inside the boat much easier versus a lot of other compartments flip up this way. So you're playing four play a long time with this outboard motor here trying to change a battery. So really awesome that they've incorporated that. You've got a boarding ladder. so. You know, if uh, you gotta swim under your, a dock to get your favorite jackhammer back, you're able to get back into the boat. Along with that, they've incorporated a remote drain plug here. So easy in, easy out. You've all forgot to put the plug in. Now you don't have to go swimming or put it back on the trailer. So fuel fill here. I don't think we missed much. Huge advantages here on the top. But there's something that uh, Vexus is doing that no one else is doing. Nowadays, I think it's a big deal. Let's talk about the trailer.
So no one else does this, and I'll tell you why. It's because the boat trailer is the most overlooked aspect of pretty much anything on the boat sail, at least from what we've noticed, but it's probably one of the most important aspects because if you ain't getting to the lake, you ain't fishing. So Vexus, they build their trailers in-house. So they build this custom trailer to match your boat right at the factory. So a few things you're gonna get with that. You're gonna get a perfect fit and a perfect match for your boat. Your boat's gonna load easier, it's gonna tow easier, because the trailer's designed for the boat, the boat's designed for the trailer. The paint they're incorporating on these trailers is gonna be very rigid. Uh, it doesn't chip up, flake off, and it's UV resistant, so it, it doesn't fade over time, baking in the sun, so it really looks nice for a long time. They incorporate trim pieces on that trailer, you know, here on these uh, step pads here to match the boat, so it really, Looks like it's supposed to be there. Uh, unlike a lot of trailers out there, the fenders, you can, so standard on a 1980 is a single axle trailer, but you can also upgrade to a tandem. This would be a tandem. So if you wanted to take this boat to Florida, you've got a little extra security there. Tows a little smoother, but this tows amazing with a single axle. We towed uh, one of these to South Carolina and uh, it was a breeze. I didn't even know it was back there almost. And, uh, they are now offering an EVA foam pad. So one aspect of this nice paint is it might get a little slippery if you're using this to step into the boat. So they've added that as an option. Beautiful wheels, good reliable tires. Load guides on this, boat buckle tie downs makes it really easy to you know, close your boat down at the end of the day. They didn't skimp out on the lights. They're incorporating LED lights into the boat with reverse lights built in. So if you're backing up on a Real early morning, no problem there. And a swing tongue, so if you've got, uh, if you really need to get it in the garage, that's no problem. Spare tire, it's gonna get you to the lake, get you fishing. Looks beautiful with the boat, built to last. That's the trailer. Time for some measurements. One last thing I wanted to touch on with the trailer, you can add a trick step entry ladder to this boat. So uh, if you're landing the boat by yourself, that's something we always recommend. It makes getting in easy. Um, I'm young and stupid yet, so it works uh, without one for me still, but uh, I'm known to be a klutz. So we're gonna start with the width of this boat at the, at the bow here. This boat carries a wide beam and we've got 51 inches wide here measuring the length this is a very long front deck so we're going to measure that here i've got 99 inches measuring the cockpit here i've got 54 and a half inches so plenty of space in the cockpit Carrying that wide beam all the way to the back. It's very wide and stable. The back deck here, I'll just go mid-ship. I've got 87 and a half inches wide, and I'll get a length here. Okay, maybe this side, yep. Okay. I've got 57 inches long on that back deck. So you've got a large rear fishing platform here with plenty of space. And let's measure these rear storage boxes. So these are deep boxes. They're very spacious. 3700s, if you carry bigger totes, those will fit in there. And they're 12 and a half inches deep and very long. You know, over 22 inches long and very wide as well. So plenty of space there. Coming up to the front deck, this thing is huge. You can really organize this how you want to, like we were saying earlier. I've got 13 and a half inches tall. Fit eight and a half foot rods, no problem. Coming over to this side. I've got 13 inches on this box. 
I think it tapers a little bit, so we'll see how much. Tapers about an inch there, so we're gonna get very similar measurements on this side, so uh, no need to get distracted by the repeater. Um, what do you guys think? This is a huge boat. We just measured it up. I think you can fish a few people off this. You can catch a few bass off this for sure. You've got power of choice with Vexus boats. That's something uh, not real common nowadays, but you can get this boat with a Mercury, Yamaha, or Suzuki. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles. You just saw all the advantages on the AVX 1980 from Vexus Boats. We've got an innovative hull, truly one of a kind, excellent industry leading performance, whole shot acceleration, and a ton of space. Perfect for Tuesday night league, that next high school derby, when Bassmaster opens. I'm Aaron Teal, this is the Advantage Series. I like this boat, we'll see you at the lake.